add on. So this is this would be cool for us if I if I wanted to put this on YouTube or on TikTok or whatever for us a bit. You good with that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. All right, cool. All right. So uh let me go in five, four, three, two. Well, seeing as though that my boy is sitting there with his um with his titles and uh I have mine behind me. I thought I would like to lead in the conversation this week about the uh, newly debuted uh, titles that were presented by WWE um, and I, and the backlash that uh, apparently that's a, that's happening with the with said uh, designs for the belt. My boy M2 Inc. is stopping in. He's taking his time off of doing uh, the double work of work <laughs> he does but also uh getting back into the social medias by the way how is the social medias he was he was letting me know early on that there's a there's some debates going on that you might be getting some 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 heat for Ooh, yeah because i didn't take the buck side <laughs> or omega side or jericho side i took punk side and that's the side with common sense and apparently common sense is very much hated in AEW. i tell you this though uh, you can't get a degree in common sense. I tell a lot of people that you can get a degree on uh, phlebotomy. You can get a degree on uh, uh, psychiatry. But when it comes to common sense, mm, there's no way to teach that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like one of the hardest things to learn for some reason. <laughs> like we're, they're mad at me for uh, being on punk side and asking, why are y'all mad at JR? What okay. can JR do? So this is a this is a good um conversation to start with. So what you're speaking about is the whole um AEW collision coming back, right? Uh I mean not coming back, starting uh, kicking off, right? Right. And um I'm kind of uh I I'm I'm I want this this project to because I that's what I think of it as. I think of it as a project. I want oh. this project to be a success. But I also think it might be problematic. I think it's problematic for the reason they split the roster. If they were if they would have just split the roster and this would have been the plans for like for like ever, like this was supposed to happen, I would feel a little better. I'd be scared of the booking. I'd be like, all right, this could be better. We get more eyes on TV. This is literally since the Bucks and Omega don't want to play with punk. Omega, Omega, and the Bucks get to pick their roster, and Punk gets to pick his, which automatically would think you would think Punk is going to have the better show, but now you got to now it's war with the fans, right? Because now they split the audience, and that like they split it in the worst way, not kayfabe heat. They're actually mad at Punk because first of all, here's my question: How do you bully a grown ass man? <laughs> <laughs> like they, they, he bullied the Bucks. What do y'all hear yourselves? They started the fight. They started the beef. They got they ass whooped, and they came out the victims. How is it's mind boggling to me? But they did somehow, and now their fans can't stand CM Punk, and Punk's fans just even if we never liked the Bucks, we de we damn sure don't like them now. But it, it's it, it's the case of politics in in the sense of you know government or in wrestling. It's the case of politics because everybody's gonna side and have their fan base um, coincide with it. For me, it's I don't look at it that way. I'm a punk fan for years, but I also call out punk when he's a fucking asshole when he does you know dumb shit. Was I on his side when he called out the punks? And uh, from the elite during the the press conference during the, the you know the scrum, no, I, I you know I, I took that as um him him being petty and shit, and and I, and I said that and yeah, I said take, that, take that's where he messed up because if you think about it, that's what they wanted. They needed to prove that Punk was a cancer, a right? Cancer. Right. And boom, right there. Look how unprofessional the guy is. Not to, but then they go storm the, the locker room, so I'm lost on how this is all Punk's fault. Yeah, because but this was unprofessional, but spreading rumors is not unprofessional. 
trying to get a reaction out the guy isn't unprofessional because that's what all this was. They start the rumors that didn't get a reaction out of them. So what did they do? Hey, hangman, get it, go bring it to live TV. That didn't get a reaction out. Well, that I, yeah, that got a reaction out of them. That got him. Hook, line, and sinker. It's pretty much if you what punk what what occurred with punk was like you put me out on front street in front of everybody. Yeah, I'm gonna take you to task for it because. <laughs> You know, the other asshole shit that he does is that he and and it's calculated. I I, I I'm not saying that um, I'm not saying that it's right or wrong because I I for myself I might even do it if I was on yeah. that level, but it's calculated. He posts something, knowing that somebody's gonna screenshot it, somebody's gonna see it, and then he pulls it down. But he knows <laughs> it's out there. It's out in the universe now. <laughs> and you can't you can't hold me to task. I said punk punk is the only dude that's that's um that's uh, straight edge that does drunk text. <laughs> See, he's the only dude that I know that's done that shit. Yeah, I mean he's smart though. Like you can't tell me you're not smart about it. But uh, even so, when it comes to what's lined up with the agreements and the um uh, uh the treaty the 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 peace talks or whatever that occurred. Yeah. I I I I I want to say that a lot of that stuff was overhyped, but I also want to believe that a lot of that stuff was um true because of um I still think there was still bitterness there with a lot of the guys that were in that company that was still they still couldn't believe that the guy who's bringing in the biggest fucking gates that they're getting has to come back. <laughs> because that's going to show the world that they're not the stars. They can't handle that. That, that is eating the bucks alive. That's eating Omega alive. And it's, it's killing Jericho. You see, you poor Chris Jericho. That's so much denial. It's crazy. That... That Adam Cole match, my God! How yeah. can how can you still how can you still try to argue that Punk is not needed after seeing that? I was gonna ask you what was your because we didn't get to speak about it. What was your thoughts about uh, Double to Nothing? That was the worst pay per view of the year, <laughs> dude. The most memorable moment is a ref, a female ref, getting hit with a guitar. <laughs> That anarchy in the arena was you know, a, was it's, a funny, it's, funny that, it's funny that you mentioned that the female ref getting hit with the guitar, and I totally forgot about it. it that, that, that's what I said. It was so forgettable. It's and and we're in my place. We have uh, two TVs in the living room, and that night we ran um, Double or Nothing, and we ran the um, the NXT show. Right. That was so much better. And, and, and isn't that something? <laughs> <laughs> would you ever say that a fucking NXT event was better than AEW? Like, yeah, I'm saying, not not even not even OG NXT because that was always better. We're talking New Age Rainbow wow. NXT. Current. That was insane. Shout out to that 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 crew, Ela Ela Dragon or fucking. Uh, oh uh, my god, I, that last man standing match, bro. I, uh, Tiffany Stratton and and, and that match and the no, fucking uh, uh, Carmelo Hayes, yo, the whole it, it listen. It goes to show you that whoever sat there and said we're gonna go head to head with this with with this this supposedly behemoth of a pay per view and still come out looking greener afterwards <laughs> was fucking genius. Was fucking genius. <laughs> that is insane. That is fucking insane. But um you said it's the worst pay-per-view this year so far. What, what were the, what, what, were the what, what, what match did you enjoy? Um I'm not gonna lie, knowing that um Hater was coming in with an injury and she she was going to be out for a while. I did like the way that they set that match up. I was okay with that. Uh, 
the FTR match I didn't think was bad. Didn't they think it was up in the middle. that was literally my only match, by the way. Yeah. Like, it was boring in the beginning and they picked up. Right. I I I wasn't um the trios match wasn't that bad either. I I, I, I what was that? I was good on it. <laughs> yeah. But everything else, even the pillars match was so fucking disappointing. I, I it it just made MJF not we, look well. Probably the worst time we've ever seen MJF in AEW ever. That that match did not work and benefited him at all. Made him look like a sad champ. And then let's talk about that exploding super kick. And supposedly there was supposed to be more. Oh, so I thought it was a one shot thing. No, it was supposed to be more. Apparently, um, the 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 venue only allowed them to do it once. It was supposed to be more. Oh, but the venue said one. Yeah, and um, I took it as this was their uh, their way of showcasing what AEW's Fight Forever game is going to be like. <laughs> oh God, that's exactly <laughs> what it <that> was. <laughs> it's like, hey, you get the super kick and fire comes out of our feet. I'm, yeah. I'm literally just saying, why not just play Wrestling Revolution? They have Dynamite. Yeah, it's true. It's, and I love that game. I really do. I, bought, I, re, I, I have bought, I have recently bought a um, uh, handheld emulator, um, the, um, re, uh, the the Retroid um, Pocket. I bought it, and I'm I'm putting all the old school games on there. I'm putting you know, the the 64. I'm putting No Mercy. I'm putting uh, all the the uh, the the Super Nintendos and all this shit, and I forgot. I go, I'm thinking. I go. I said, "Oh shit, there's fucking Google Play here." <laughs> the Empire. Let me put this in here too. I was like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" I forgot, and it plays fucking great on there. I'm saying, bro, like that. That was one of the best games ever made. Of course, and that guy still gets love. On uh on Twitter and on on uh on the um the the low key um wrestling uh, fandom when it comes to video games, but um when it came to the double or nothing, I I think this is where uh AEW and Tony Khan showed um Marcusness. yeah they show and they showed their sores they did they showed that that um the build up didn't was not to um their like you know, what what the fandom's liking was and we saw it because <laughs> it's great that you're doing some great fucking uh uh ticket sales in 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 England but <laughs> you're not doing well <laughs> stateside man <laughs> you're not doing well stateside because it's lame they don't understand everything is lame when orange cassidy is one of your top champions. He that, won the fucking battle royal. Like, how much did it hurt watching Swerve get this close? Oh my goodness! <laughs> how the fuck did? But this goes to show how much. You know, people complain about how Vince had his tongue up Roman's ass to force feed him to us. Are we not seeing the fucking same thing in here in AEW with fucking oh. Tony Khan and, and, and Orange Cassidy? Not at all. Nope. We want him here. <laughs> uh, apparently, they want him there. So let the let saying, him pull the ratings. I get. I say. No, but I'm saying, are we not seeing Tony Khan just say, "Yo, we're gonna we're gonna have him open up every dynamite. He's gonna win a 21 man battle royal." And. On top of being 60 and 0. I mean, no, 50 and 0, 50 and 0, my bad. I mean, Orange Cassidy is. He, 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 he I mean, he's the Bruno San Martino of <laughs> <laughs> EW. Look at that. T- he's the, he's the, uh, the fabulous moolah of, <laughs> of EW. Shit. Jesus. <laughs> The Dean Malenko, man of a thousand holds. Oh, and a thousand wins as well. He's, he's on his way. A thousand pin variations, apparently. Oh, my. Uh, so, 
I, I'm 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 astounded with I the one thing that I said finally, and I mentioned it earlier in the podcast. Finally, he handed over the reins of Ring of Honor to. Well, let me put it this way: handed over the reins of Ring of Honor to uh, 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 Stokely and uh, uh, Jerry Lynn. Oh. I heard one name I like. Why Stokely? Uh, because they're gonna need a mouthpiece. They need a they. Because Jerry Lynn was never a real um promo cutter, so they neither is Stokely. He's okay. annoying. But that's his job as a heel. That's what he's supposed. No, to he's be. not good. Annoying. He's go away. Annoying. He's unviable. Annoying. He's like it sounds. He's. I'm gonna say something black. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he sounds like. like say everything he like says doesn't sound natural, and that's annoying. It's not good heat. <laughs> He's not natural out there. I can I can understand if he was funny or something. Oh, but, but, here's, but here's the kicker: they are going to be the ones responsible for uh, the creative and uh, booking wise. You never get this shit right. How hard. Oh my god. Everybody just got to be so friendly and goofy. Why well, can't you not one wrestling mind and creative? Yeah. Oh, All- I, I trust Jerry Lynn. Stokely's going to f- completely flip that shit. I, to, to me, I, I I think that um WWE missed the boat with him. They they should have kept him. I liked him as a mouthpiece. I really did. Um, he, that's the thing. That's why I'm not understanding. He wasn't the best, but he was decent in Diamond right. Mom. He's right. been goofy as shit ever since he went to AEW. Right. Um. I I I think that them at least, and the only one who has power of attorney to change anything creative that had to be mentioned was Tony Khan. Of course. <laughs> Of course. Who else? Doesn't and once again, Samoa Joe is chilling. Why not? Why not give him the power? Oh, I, I know. I forgot he's on the show, so that's gonna be a conflict of interest. I don't even think he wants the gig. I swear. I think he's really waiting out his time until that contract is done, and he's going. Uh, is Triple H still in charge over there? Uh, <laughs> Sean is there. <laughs> oh God, get me the fuck! He he can't pull the um William Regal uh a move because he doesn't, he, have, he, he, he doesn't have that tenure and that fucking respect. <laughs> but it's like it's like oh God, get me the fuck out of here! <laughs> like please. I mean, if if Punk wanted him on the roster, it might be a better show. Yeah, yeah, maybe. So leading up to the to that the AEW collision, um. As I just go quickly get a drink, um, let me let, let the listeners get your thoughts about what what do you think is the um the the reasoning and uh, build up for this set show. The whole reason we got AEW Collision was literally because three little girls named Kenny Omega, Matt Jackson, and Nick Jackson couldn't handle the fact that CM Punk is the biggest star in that company, and he will draw more viewers, more money, more merchandise, more everything than they ever will. They tried to get him out the company. It didn't work. So they want their own show, and they want Punk to go over there and do his. They want him to, I guess, have a legitimate wrestling show and let them do their little circus show on Thursday. I mean, not Thursday, Wednesday nights. So it's going to be Wednesday versus Saturday, which is dumb. If you wanted to split the roster, you should have just put them in some Ring of Honor and some of an AEW. But you made a whole new roster because egos couldn't get to get along. You couldn't tell them to. You're the boss, Tony. You're the you're the head of the company. You couldn't say, "All right, you play nice," or go away. Like really. I, oh, but no, he's got to be their friend. I forgot. It it never fails. He's got to be somebody's friend. He can't be a goddamn boss. 
ridiculous. He can't be a boss, especially when he comes out with his little goofy hat during the um, um, the announcement of the Owen Hart <laughs> Invitational Tournament. <laughs> he, he he's the most awkward owner of anything in the history of owning anything. It is just it shows you. It just goes to show you the wrong people have all the money. He came out with that hat. He remind me of the fucking uh, uh, the game that they played in Price. They play in Price is Right when the fucking mountain climber comes. So here's my thought about the the collision. Um. I believe that the uh, the higher ups at um, at Warner Discovery wanted him there, wanted to not want wanted him to be on that show. I believe that um, they wanted to give AEW a show because at the time where it was presented, they were drawing numbers ratings, but. If you look at the um, the ratings for the show for the past four months, five, it's it's not the same. Remember, this is a show that was making 1.1, 1.2 viewers a week, Dynamite? Consistently. Consistently. And after a certain point, they're Barely hitting nine hundred mil, uh, nine hundred thousand viewers. Like because uh, only a certain fan base is going to stomach the shit they have been putting on for the last five months. So, um, Discovery sat there and they 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 made this agreement to have the Saturday show, and. Like you said, this is supposed to be their um, split show uh, premise. I think that, um, and it's it, 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 it's a far-fetched thought to believe because it's, it's one of those thoughts that only an insane individual would do because you would lose money by doing this. But I think that this show is a it's a program that is subject for him to be proven that he's a failure and i'm talking about cm punk because ah, i see what you mean because you you will want to make it make it seem a split brand show and you give it to him on the worst fucking spot the better spot for him to have would be the Friday spot after SmackDown. The better spot would, would be to carry over that because at least you know the WWE fans who just watched SmackDown who do know CM Punk would be on another show and you could carry over there. Rampage has done shit. They're all like, I, I think barely making 330000 a oh, oh, oh. A week, so the better look was to put Punk <clears throat> and Collision on that show and make Rampage their Saturday show. What's your thoughts? That just made me mad because that's another thing they could have just split the roster and put them on Rampage. Because Rampage ain't doing shit, but nobody's watching Rampage. Exactly. You don't think Punk will make them watch Rampage? You don't think Rusev can make them watch Rampage? Samoa Joe can't make them watch Rampage. But they wanted another show for Saturday. And that's, that's that was there's too much competition on a Saturday. Which is sports! Real exactly. sports! Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Real sports! <laughs> Jesus, who who would have thunk real sports would make a real fucking impact? <laughs> like... <laughs> It's definitely, like I said, this is all a hit on CM Punk. They just <laughs> can't help themselves, bro. 
They're going to make they're going to make Punk look like the inferior one, whether they like it or not. And Punk's probably gonna still wind up on top somehow, some way, magically. But but, Punk is just smart, I guess. But that's a bad time spot for anything to succeed, especially wrestling. This, if and a lot of people would say, why didn't they do the um the classic uh WCW um, six oh five spot? Which I I, I would have thought that would have been cool. Like you gave it the six o'clock. This is a time where like um it's a break from maybe from sports or um uh, depending on the region that people really are in like that you know, like, huh sports don't really start heavy till like seven or eight yeah right right so maybe you could get like an hour an hour and a half whatever the case may be boom you could do that it'd be cool depending on the your, your time region the way you guys are or where you're, you're living at you're you're, you're good yeah. so the 605 spot was a very heavy um wrestling uh uh spot during the the 80s and the 90s and shit you want to go prime time? Even networks don't do prime time. They run <laughs> fucking old episodes of fucking um, Golden Girls during that time. It's like, really? And they get more views. Big oh. Bang Theory gets more views. Friends will get more views. I think th this is a very um, expensive way of proving that CM Punk is a failure, and I think this is a way of getting him out of there. It definitely is, because is it not ironic that the announcement of CM Punk is in California? In Cali. In Cali, right in the backyard of Cucamonga. I'm just saying. I wish I had the numbers. I wish I would have um, looked up before we started talking about it. Um, or maybe I could probably find it. What's the ticket sales for um, that event? Because I know it was bad early on. They, I think they barely was cracking like 2,000 before the announcement of, of Punk. Um, how, how, how is it that, that this company could... Make they way that they they way back into fucking um prominence that they possibly maybe had before. It had, AEW hasn't really hit like in a serious company since 2019. Maybe in the middle of 2020. Mm. What has AEW done since then to make it the next level? Okay, so I'm looking at uh let me see maybe I can share it. Let me see what I'll do it up here. Uh la, 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 la. all right, so um all right, so let me see if you can see it this way. All right, so we're looking at the tickets that's been sold from from the announcement of punk, right? Right. Isn't it crazy that um a that um they were only seeing about 2000 to 2500 before the announcement of punk and then once the announcement of punk happened now we got these sections getting filled up a little bit right You see it uh, there we go. There we go. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You see it? Yeah. So now, now they're getting filled up, right? Uh, yeah, fam. We gonna watch this shit. Uh, isn't that crazy when you put a star on a show? They actually sell out the <laughs> arena. <laughs> because before the announcement, like I said, twenty five hundred was the max. They ain't because we weren't sure. We're like, are they still goofing around with Punk's contract, or are we gonna go back? We, you know, now that we heard Punk, all right, we're good. Give me my ticket. Yeah, not for nothing. And I don't want to be um, crude, but I'm going to be. If I was Punk, I would turn to Tony Khan as like, all right, who's gonna suck my dick? <laughs> suck my dick tonight. <laughs> you know, it's be phys the physical. 
But um, remember the, the the cupcakes and shit that I was eating during the fucking all out and shit. Oh, well, Matt Jackson and um and his brother and that other guy, what's his name? Um, Omega, what the fuck it is? Uh, yeah. tell them to bring it to me, but uh, make sure that they're carrying it on their fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here! Look at this. Dance, huh? They didn't even and and I'll give them I'll give them the this back part here because you know you you don't you don't sell the staging part I give them that but if I want to even critique the announcement of of punk in the building you still are missing this shit here so. You're going to get a lot of people who are going to get these seats in this area that um, might get them on like uh, game time or uh, stub hub or shit like that. So especially, look, especially this part right here, <laughs> for some reason, they never really sell out in this. I don't know what the fuck, why they don't, but around this, no, they don't. That's, that's, that's weird. But any case, um, your thoughts about that. About what them trying to snub CM Punk? <laughs> <laughs> like I've been saying it for months, bro. It's it's a hit on Punk. Tony Khan's or Tony Khan's has a business relationship with CM Punk and is friends with the EVPs. So that should tell you who's gonna have more leeway and what's going on. And you see who got the worst time slide. CM Punk. But then. Dun, dun, dun. We're hearing the punks and Omega's contracts are going to be up really soon, and there has not been any conversations about any um, renegotiations. <sighs> are we buying into this or are we selling this shit? I would, I'm not sure about punk. Omega's definitely resigning because who's going to give him that much freedom? Um, but um, I'm, I'm not sure about Punk. He might be looking in the green. I'm, not, I'm talking about the, the the Bucks. Oh, you said the Bucks? The Bucks. They're not going anywhere. Where are they going to go? Impact or AAA? They're not going to WWE. Hmm. Ain't no way. I will. Let me think. I will eat circus peanuts and Swedish sweet <laughs> on live if they wind up in WWE. I'm going to assume that you don't eat any of those things. They're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I would, if I would have known that ahead of time, I would have done uh, fucking um, some bets <laughs> early on about that, really. So I I'll even add in some good and plenties. I'm going to say. Omega, I can see him in WWE. If they did the, the AJ Styles thing, I could see Omega in WWE. I could see that. I, I think see Omega in WWE too. I'm talking about the Bucks going over there. The Bucks as no. a package deal, as they, they did with mm. They're going to be the Gallows and Anderson to AJ. I think that um, with the Bucks contractually, they will fuck themselves out of it. I think with Omega, he's um, he's on the line to where it's um, I don't have many more years in me, injury wise, body wise, or you know. He wouldn't do such stupid shit. He would. And his his mentality and ego is like, I want to hit every promotion that I can and do something there I can see that with him the Bucks no Khan would fucking grab them each by each leg before they would walk out oh, please don't fucking leave please wait you're not going to do this to me no I'll give you anything no oh, but if Omega leaves and the Bucks don't what is left with the Bucks um, power within the company. I mean, that is what that's it. Like, cause there's no program we want to see him in. 
nobody to work yeah. them to work with. I mean, I care less about them and Hangman Page. Like, what can they actually do without Omega? Power in the company. That's all he would ask for um, from Tony. Uh, or even if maybe like, we could, ex- or maybe we could use a storyline to expose the truth. If it's not even creative, it would it, be more about um, just give us full executive shit in the back. That's it. That's all they want. Pretty much. Yeah, but, that's it. but there is a secret storyline that they will never do because they don't want to expose the truth. Which is? The only one that is talentless out of those three is Matt Jackson. Of course. And it's funny because he sold me. He sold me for many years. I thought he, I thought he did. And I thought it was he, well. I thought he was cool when he grew out the facial hair. The facial hair one time when he first grew it out, I was with him. I thought it was years and for marks, and I was a mark for Matt because I was like, "Yo," because he 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 fucking gimmicked out everything. But we're like real uh, like wrestling guys that are actually cool. watch guys are like, Nick and, Kenny. and I was like, "Holy!" I, I I picked it up maybe like a couple of years ago. I was like, "Holy shit!" Nick is the one that actually is the fucking talent. Holy shit! Which is absolutely insane, right? I was, like, I was watching. Keep saying, I kept saying they both suck. They both suck. I'm like, "Yo, Nick's not bad. <laughs> like he's not bad at all." <laughs> It's just Matt that sucks. Yeah, so I'm I'm like, out what's going on there? Maybe we but, break them uh, up. But uh, by design, I still would say that um, Kenny will be the one to say, "Yeah, I'm ready to go." And WWE will give him a boatload of fucking money. They will do it. They will do it. There, yeah, I can see that. I can see the word. I because the contract. I Sadly, admit the worth of Omega. Yeah, the Bucks, no, absolutely not. No, but no, no. Omega, I'm I will ugh, begrudgingly admit he is worth something in that line. Yeah, yeah, I can see that, especially in his his last days of of, of like he would say, quote unquote, of him wrestling. I can see that happen because he wants to touch base with everything. Uh, speaking of design, we're gonna talk about the um the. Championship designs and titles that were presented because you're wearing them on your uh, titles on your shoulders, and I have some behind me. Uh, we were presented with the world heavyweight title that was recently uh won by Seth Rollins. Congratulations, because I believe that he was the well deserving to get it as he much was. as I love AJ, but it didn't make it wouldn't make sense if he won it. Great match, by the way. Awesome, um, match. awesome. Um, what's your thoughts on the design of the world heavyweight title? It's disappointing. We have a world heavyweight championship, it's big and gold, it's beautiful. It's hold on, it's, <laughs> it's right here. It, my, my, mine is here, exactly. It mine's looks here. it looks like a title worth fighting for. Right. And we had to plaster a fat ass W in the middle of it. I think they wanted to because Triple H was a big fan of the the big the big gold belt. I think he they, he wanted to emulate that, but not make it too um, uh, gaudy, too big. And um, I think that's uh, their look for me. For me, um, I, I I I think it's I, I think it's probably. One of the better belts in the past few years. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mad at it. I just I think mean, that I'm not. I'm happy. It's finally not just a big ass W with leather. But <laughs> why? Why do you have to like? I get it, marketing. But Jesus, we know what company it is. Just let the the title be nice. Um, when I look at the center. And I look at the um, the 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 outer rims of it. It reminds me of the big like big gold nugget rings that I've seen like drug dealers have. <laughs> like it, it kind of had like that feel to it. And um, but still, I'm not I'm not mad at it. I think I'm I I I I I, I think I'm very no, uh, lenient no, to that one. I'm cool to that. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of. One of these of it. I'm, I'm definitely going to get one of these of it. You're going to get a replica? 
Gotta get I gotta get a replica of it, especially the kid size. Gotta get one. You know what uh, actually reminds me of though? Huh? You know what it actually reminds me of? What's Two that? titles actually. One OG. Oh, do you remember the the what culture belt? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's one, but actually it reminds me of the old TNA World Heavyweight Championship. The one that Bobby Roode had. You know what? And I always said they gave him the bad belt. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't <laughs> mad at it, though. I wasn't that, belt, hey, that belt was not that bad. That belt was actually pretty nice. I like that I, one. But I like the previous belt before it. I was I was a fan of it. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the one. I know it's the one that uh, Jeff Jarrett had for the most part. Jarrett, uh, yeah, I, I, I was, I wasn't, I wasn't mad at it. So um, now we talk about the um, WWE Undisputed Championship. I um, had, I literally had a feeling in the back of my mind. I said it was either going to be gold or silver, but it's just going to be the same fucking championship. <laughs> and they brought out a gold ass WWE championship. <laughs> What's wrong with that, though? No, I mean nothing. I'm glad. I'm actually glad. I, I got tired of Roman walking around like he had to have two belts all the time. <laughs> it's about time. Give that man one championship. Sheesh. What? But. but- was was Roman tired of carrying it around? <laughs> Probably. Those things are heavy. But here's my thing. I heard that on TV the belt is not uh, 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 photogenic. But I saw pictures of it myself when I saw it on like WWE Shop or somebody else put it up. It actually is a good looking belt, though. It is. It, it's nice. It's a nice looking belt. So I mean, it, it, it just looks like the WWE Championship is black and gold. No, nah, but at least they put gold on it, though. They put, <laughs> they put metal on it. <laughs> I, 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 I might actually do some work on this show. Hold on, wait. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see if I can do some work here. Because, um, I wanted to say I wanted to really hate on it. Uh, I mean, I'm not really. I don't like. I wouldn't hate on it. I just I'm impartial. It's it's just the w, a gold WWE championship, right? We've had it like we've had an undisputed championship before, and it looked way better. And then Cena killed it. But <laughs> 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 I'll never. I I can't forgive, bro. That was my favorite WWE championship, and then he gave us that toy. Well, well you was a, were you a spinner, bro? Like kind of guy? Like that was no. I liked the undisputed, and then he gave us that motherfucking spinny ass toy. Okay, because uh, yeah. hold on. Hey. I was uh, like, why, bro? You already did this to the United States Championship, and it was hideous. Is that what it's supposed to be like? What, what is that? I that, mean, that's the new championship. That's what it's. That's the replica. That's the, the the replica. That's, that's what, what it's. Saying. It's literally just a gold WWE championship. They <laughs> they reverse the colors. Yeah. Like <laughs> it's nothing special. It's just a, a title. Like they don't, they don't try to make them special no more. Like a winged, like a winged angel, a winged eagle, or right. a undisputed championship. They just put that fat ass W in the middle of that same plate because it's branding. And oh come I, on! I, I this what I'm, I'm telling you, it's you know it's better than branding having a cool ass title that people would want. No, because they, Whoever wins this belt, you already know it's going to do the rounds. They are we going. Knew, we knew who it was when Triple H was walking around with the big gold. Yeah, because that big gold looked cool as shit. That, that, that's different. <laughs> exactly. It looked cool. It was just a fat ass W. But it had a always, W on it. But as always, it's a different time that's all it is it's a different time like that's people why aren't that's why i say we won all of you new motherfuckers are so generic it's boring 
<laughs> like, you know, like, not even wrestling, bro. You know, I've been watching Timon and Pumbaa. Mm-hmm. Because modern shit sucks. Hakuna <laughs> Matata, you know? Wait, hold on, wait. Let me, let me show my hand. How much we talking? <laughs> uh, that one was for um, 500. Yeah, they were, they, they, they were asking for 500. You already know they were going to get that bread. They were going to get it. They're going to they, 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 they gonna get the marks to buy it. Uh, you know but, there are title collectors that got to have every belt. That's no, definitely, oh, definitely. Uh, hell yeah. And there's a lot. If you don't know about it, there's a lot that, that, that does that shit. Okay. Um, I'm looking at I'm looking at like the history of the um world title belts. I'm a big big gold belt guy. That's my that's my shit. But the one that, is forever yeah. one of the best. Um the one that we know that Brock wore. That's my shit. That that's the one. That's the undisputed champion. Man, that was my favorite WWE championship. No disrespect to the Winged Angel, but the Winged Angel, the Winged Eagle. But I'm telling you, the Big Gold was the one. Yeah, the Winged Eagle was like that. Shit was fire though. I I I, I, oh, I, I, I must. The I must one say. that Bret and Stone Cold had most definitely. Yeah. Um. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can share it up here. here. But I'm not really mad at how the um the the the, the distribution of the the look of the belts. I'm not mad at it. I'm just more along, uh, I'm more along the side of I don't know. I I the Roman thing was fine. But it's just the um, the world heavyweight title. You didn't give the reasoning for it because for me, I hear world heavyweight title. I hear you have to be over two twenty five to win this title, right? <laughs> Whereas undisputed title, anybody can win. It's that kind of belt. Am I wrong for thinking that way? I mean. Ray Mysterio won the World Heavyweight Championship. Exactly. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> this, this is a great. <laughs> love this belt. That's a really good belt. That too. is my sh- bro. That's the one. Uh, they could have brought that out of retirement for me. Come on. Just make the W the actual current WWE. That would that would have been it, bro. That is so. You gorgeous. can't because the it, the W is too little. No, it's not. It is. And it says World Wrestling Entertainment. It's little. Oh, and my. God. But it's so fucking badass. Why? I love that belt, too. That's it my. Is, that's that's, that's my, the one. I hate to say it, but I think that's my third favorite belt. I think that's my favorite belt. I don't know. Like, I, can't, I can't say that's not my, my favorite first belt. First favorite belt, even though it's not theirs. Is the big gold belt from WCW? That's the fucking gold belt. I give that gold. second place. Um, the second one is the the winged belt. That's, that's I gave that third. And it's this one. This this is my shit. I'm, I'm saying, bro. Like, all right. And when we say winged angel, are we talking Brett or Attitude Era? Um, Brett, definitely Brett. Okay, okay. just making sure. Okay. So, but uh, so the Air belt was nice. It was now, that was nice too. But the Winged Angel, I mean, the Winged Eagle is better. No, the Brett one is great. That that was the the former Hogan one. That I was like, thank God he's not wearing it because it looks stupid with him. <laughs> Brett was the one I wore it better. But as always, thank you, brother, for checking in, man. Where can everybody can get you in? Where we can check in at, man? You can get me at M Two Inc at on TikTok, and then you can get me at. What's it called? 2K of politics. You see, I barely be touching YouTube. I need to get back on it so I can explain to y'all why I don't like Cody Rhodes. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a conversation. That's gonna be a cutting up promo for that for why you don't like Cody. Oh, yeah, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know, like, like sneak peek. He's just not doing it for me. He's, uh, he's a little too fake. But uh, we'll get to that. 
and, and, and then back on TikTok, we're definitely yeah. gonna have to. Yay! You back on TikTok? Yay! <laughs> oh yeah, been, oh yeah, been killing it on TikTok, and we're gonna have to show the world that Bray Wyatt has had some good matches. I know the comeback was trash. I know it was garbage, very much so. But the man has had some good matches, good handful of them. I'll show y'all. Just, just trust me. Just trust me. Thank you again for brother, my my, my brother for checking in. And as always, uh, yes, sir. Yes, we sir. do great work here, bro. And uh, go to work. I know you got to go to work tonight. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not for another maybe two hours, maybe three. But <laughs> we gonna get a good nap in. Maybe not too good. Don't want to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, check you guys. Check you guys, and I check you. Uh, check you later on. Later. All right.